I want to encourage people to be themselves and express themselves however they want. I believe everyone should be equal and we should all love and support each other and express ourselves the way we want to express ourselves and be whoever we want. That's my motto. I'm really stubborn and I'm okay with that. I was always called a cry baby and I was one. I cried a lot as a child. In fact, I still cry a few times a day. I'm still a cry baby. Growing up, I always took things too personal and was very emotional and I got made fun of for it. Everyone is allowed to be vulnerable. I think women and men and dogs and cats and ants and aliens can all express themselves and be vulnerable. My music is like a baby pink frosted cake with sprinkles, but when you cut into it, there's a gooey dark chocolate sender. I'm a perfectionist and even if something comes out great, it's still not perfect. You know, I love Sia and how she hides her face. If I could pull off doing that, I totally would. Part of the problem with America is that letting go of emotions is viewed as a weakness, but it's my strength that enabled me to write my songs. My whole mission in general, ever since I was 14, was to write music that would help people heal. I've always been a fan of telling honest stories. My parents were super strict, so I didn't have a lot of freedom to hang out at parties or anything like that. I didn't get invited, and I didn't have many friends. I have to stop eating so much grilled cheese and chocolate chip cookies and start really working on everything. I liked singing and just took a chance with it. Cry Baby is like this fairy tale version of me. A lot of it is based on real events and some of it is made up to make it more whimsical. The real me is this deep, kind of somber person. I can't really help that. Eventually, I started writing down a bunch of titles that related to childhood themes and would pair it with an adult situation that either I was going through or someone else in my life was going through. When I'm done with my last album, I want to make a movie with Tim Burton telling the story of all of the albums connected. That's my biggest dream. Working on this album has been very emotional and super personal and creating this character cry baby helped me deal with my own insecurities. Please understand that I make music to express myself. And if you know anything about me, you know that I'm nothing but honest. When I started, I was very unsure of who I was. There were a lot of things in the songs that I didn't realize I was saying, but more and more, it fell into place. I got more comfortable in my skin. I wanted people to understand that I have my own music and I didn't want to sing other people's songs at shows. I auditioned for The Voice because I really wanted to try and figure out a way to get myself out there. I really couldn't imagine doing anything else. Music was the only thing that I really clung to. I had a lot of Barbies growing up and a lot of porcelain dolls, but I was scared of them. I was so scared of them. I would try to turn their head away and would make my mom take them out of my room. I have a song called Training Wheels and it's about being in love with someone and taking it to the next level by taking off the training wheels. I think that any female who gets asked if she's a feminist, it's silly. It's so interesting when people ask females if they're a feminist. Of course every female wants to be equal. I only wear vintage clothing. I'm pretty obsessed with things in the 60s, like fashion and music, too. I don't like a lot of pop music, but I like the idea of pop music. Cry Baby is very close to my heart. I feel like I am her in a lot of ways. I want to continue making music from her perspective. It's one thing to ask for a picture, but to just take a picture of me is kinda weird. Guys, my two favorite parts of what I do are definitely writing the music and then writing and directing the videos to support each song, as well as doing my own makeup and styling for the videos. The way that I dress is the way I've always dressed. The way I've eaten is how I've always eaten. I dress like a five-year-old and I eat like a five-year-old. I wanted to play my original music, but it was really hard because a lot of the people who would come out to the shows found out about me through the voice and wanted to hear covers. I want my music to be 
treat it as a book or a movie. It's not about the one single. It's about the bigger picture. It's really hard for me to finish a song unless I have a strong visual in my head while I'm writing it. I always try when I'm singing songs to interpret them the way that I would have arranged them. I think about the melody first and then I pull out my guitar and start singing it. I'm happy that I don't have to do covers anymore because that's not what I do. Once I was done making my album Cry Baby, I knew I wanted to make a vintage inspired baby bottle perfume. I'll always cling to these little girl dresses at vintage shops and I can never wear them because they're so tiny. I feel it's my job as the artist who is making the music to pair it with visuals that I see in my head while writing the music in the first place. I'm not necessarily a happy singer. That's not who I am as an artist. I really love taking photos. When I was younger, I think my love for photography sparked my love for creating the visuals to support my music. The behind the scenes kind of process at TV, especially live television, that was super scary. But I think it's made me more comfortable now. If I ever have to go on live TV, I at least remember what it was. Like when I was 16, I didn't have any real idea that I was going to be an artist. I had no idea what that meant. There's a heavy hip hop influence in my music, some trap influence, but it's always lyrical. I want to put out as many albums as I can before I die. I've always written the storyboards for the music videos, and it's been hard working with directors trying to get them to understand what I'm thinking. I wrote about scenarios that I was going through and then disguised them. I've always been super into photography and the visuals that support my music. I had been writing songs for a while since I was 14 and playing guitar, but I never really knew how to go about making an actual career. I think if you're going to cover a song, you should definitely take it apart and put it back together as if you wrote it. I don't think you should sing it the same way that the artist sang it that's kind of pointless. Melania Del Martinez born April 28, 1995, in Astoria, Queens, to parents Mary and Jose Martinez, who are of Dominican and Puerto Rican descent. Her family moved to Baldwin, New York, on Long Island, when Martinez was four. Melanie Martinez is an American singer and songwriter. Martinez rose to fame in 2012 after appearing on season three of the American television talent show The Voice. Following the show, she was signed to Atlantic Records and released her debut single Dollhouse, followed by her debut extended play of the same name 2014. Martinez attended Plaza Elementary School, crediting her teacher, Mr. Nadian with teaching her how to sing, and in kindergarten, Martinez began writing poetry. She practiced photography and painting. Due to her emotionality as a child, she says that others referred to her as a crybaby, which sparked the creation of the titular character of her debut album, Cry Baby. At 14, Martinez taught herself how to play guitar by studying chord diagrams of songs she enjoyed, which she found online, and wrote her first song by adding her poetry to one of the chord diagrams. Martinez graduated from Baldwin High School. Martinez later released her debut studio album, Cry Baby 2015, which went on to be certified double platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America Ria. The album amassed numerous commercially successful singles including Pity Party, Soap, and Mrs. Potato Head. She has since released two follow-up albums, K12-019 and Portals-203. Easily recognized by her colorful two-toned hair and bangs, Martinez's visual style plays an important part in her music videos and performances. She came to fame cultivating a doll-like look complemented by baby doll dresses and emotional facial expressions. 